Okay. Does somebody have the notes handy? I can get them. Oh, hey, Gary. Just getting started. Morning, Gary. Morning, morning. Oh, okay, here we go. Here are the notes. Do we want to add a fun question? I think today's focus would be on the open OLAS insight report, right? Yeah. And also, I have I have tried with uh, with uh, Matt that uh, maybe we can change the time a little bit later to make it make it suitable or friendly to 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 people from uh, United States and and uh, Europe. And because usually the people from Asia, only me and Liang and Jun, it uh, should be fine for us to join the meeting later. Okay. But we can discuss that uh, in the next meeting. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Just putting um, just putting in Slack that we're starting the meeting. Mm -hmm. Uh, who wants to drive this meeting? Um, Yahui, do you want to? Daniel, do you? I've uh, I've missed the past several meetings, and and this is a topic that the two of you have been working on. So I think it's probably easier if one of you just joins. Uh, just... Maybe maybe Daniel could share the slides first about keynote we uh, you are gonna show. Okay. On the Open Ruler Summit. Yes. Let me. Let me open this, go for the slides. So before Maybe Daniel shared the slides, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the whole report because we work, would work closely about the whole work between Open Ruler and, uh, and the Chaos. I'm thinking it's possible finally published through a Linux research to uh, let them uh, let them collaborate with us to give the final report. My understanding of uh, Linux research is that they are mainly market research. I mm -hmm. would say, but I might be wrong here. Maybe don't you you know more? Um, so I guess we may use marketing skills from the Linux Foundation at some point. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. We should ask them. Uh, Linux research effort. I don't know about that specifically, and this is kind of we are, we are in different places, but they may agree. So I, I have no idea. This yeah, I um, I think we should ask. I think we should. I think we should talk to them about it. I suspect that they're not going to be interested, frankly, um, because the I could and I could be totally wrong, but it feels like the the research that they do is more is designed to be broad and to get attention for um, mm -hmm. some of the bigger efforts within the Linux Foundation, like the work that they're doing in Europe um, and, you know, like the to-do group and maintainers. So the um, the research that I've seen so far tends to be broader like mm -hmm. that, but they might be interested in something in something like this um, just because they, they haven't typically done it doesn't mean that they're doesn't mean that they're not interested. So I think we should we should probably get a little bit further on our own with it, and then um, and then when we're ready, we can we can take it and maybe just have a conversation with Hillary about it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking, uh, we are looking on the Open Ruler 
community, but uh, we are more looking on a, a complex uh, system, software system, uh, which not only uh, you know take example uh, for take open rule as an example, but also we would take more examples from other complex open source communities. Yeah. So treat it as ecosystem, open source ecosystem. So that would be more interesting on that. I, I think, I, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree <clears throat> with Don that maybe it, it, it makes sense to, to move forward, let's say, as, as chaos. And then once we have something that is published, then we have a showcase and say, hey, we have produced this. We would like to keep moving forward. So then what is what you need? Linux, uh, Linux Foundation Research or any mm -hmm. other? <laughs> Um, sure. to make this a cage for you and then mm -hmm. Hmm. yeah yeah maybe maybe daniel you can share your slides yes yes i, I was uh i was gonna do it now <laughs> i was i was waiting for for the end of the this first discussion okay so there are there are two documents well, we have the insights report and then we have the slides mm -hmm. uh so i i'll serve now my kind of point of view so then you understand the uh, rationale to why I did this in this way, basically. Um, okay, so, um, okay, let, let's start with the slides, for instance. Um, so let me know if this is big enough and do it bigger. Um, okay, I think the two people we are gonna be in the keynote are gonna be Sean and, and me. I have not, uh, I have, I don't have feedback from Sean. I just keep adding things to the slides. So just for the record. So this is a really pre-alpha version. Okay, so uh, I wanted to have something like um, Chaos and Open Euler, who we are, in this case, the, the speakers. Um, then why we are here from a um, business perspective, community perspective. So, uh, you know, Chaos, we, we want to advance into the understanding of what means what health means in the open source ecosystem, and then what I wanted to ex uh, explain here or highlight is: hey, all of these are public use cases by by Open Euler. So basically, congratulations! But you are basing all of your digital infrastructure on software. So be sure of certain aspects here: that the community is healthy, that there is that this is sustainable, and then. Basically, open source, because it's transparent, brings you the opportunity to see what's going on. Competitors, users, investors, developers, public administration. So basically, everyone can go there and check what's going on. So let's say that the digital infrastructure needs facts about the software. This is kind of the motivation, right? So it's, OK, we are here. Why we are here, explaining all of this. Um, and then just kind of a couple of uh, examples that we we may have others again this is a pre-alpha version but okay what happens if right so have you have you have you ever considered this basically china post china southern power grid state grid corporation china resources group all of these people are using this software so what happened if any of these technologies basically is abandoned can we know this in advance and then i bring an example about the automotive industry but might be others right specifically about the automotive industry is the if you are embedding open source in your systems, you need to support them for 10 plus years because this is at least at the European Union. Good. So we are here to help with all of this. We uh, then it's introduction about chaos, uh, knowledge and software. So we have uh, done, we have, and everyone here in the call, we have 10, 12 minutes. So this is all we have. Uh, mission, uh, this is directly copied from the charter. So produce integrated open source software, uh, establish implementation, optionally produce standards, so the three. Uh, the recommendation in general is to have a um, bullet points or, or basically explanations in the slides because of the you know communication channel and language barriers. Uh, and then my idea was, okay, now we go into the open error analysis, you know, really rough analysis with the data we already have, big numbers, this is a live community. Um, then what I wanted to do, it's, oh, sorry, this is not this. Um, um, big numbers, live communities of the community. Um, so then we can discuss this. 
Um, and then I wanted to bring a specific uh, aspects of one of the key basically pieces in the in the open Euler ecosystem, which is the Linux kernel. And then I thought that this might be of interest, like, okay, analysis of the Chinese collaboration ecosystem within the Linux kernel. So basically who are those that are participating that are coming from, from this region? I thought about having another one from Europe and then basically showing the you know uh, network uh, of collaboration between European and, and Chinese developers. I'm still producing the data, by the way, but it happens that we have this for the Linux kernel specifically. Um, yeah, so the importance of life and critical ecosystems as open Euler, complex systems. And then we as in chaos, we want to grow the body of knowledge. Chaos as the place to make sense of all of this. Uh, announcements, this is, this is again, all on my own. So this is a discussion to have like, okay, uh, does it make sense to start a discussion within chaos on complex systems? Because we are perhaps still too generic on some aspects. So does it make sense to put certain metrics in action and have this discussion? This is of course a decision to be made by everyone. Thank you. I would like them in the slides to recognize all the Chinese community of chaos, OSS Compass, everyone that has helped to make this happen and done. So this is it. Thoughts? Mm -hmm. uh, could you could you go back to the uh slides uh eighteen? Yes. Uh yeah. Uh, so this part is the is that announcement about uh, the collaboration between the chaos and the open ruler, mm -hmm. or this is the formal uh, report or, or indicator that uh, we are gonna show the details of inside report about about uh, open ruler. I'm not sure. Uh... Okay. So what I have in mind is yeah. to announce if it makes sense, if we all agree again, uh, to have this new working group in chaos in collaboration between open ruler and chaos, and a second thought here, Yahoo. As uh, it's true that we have not. A, a direct link to the report. So probably we need to announce the report as well. So both things probably. Yeah, I think I, I, I could see some discussion in the in the uh, documentation about between you and Don that uh, do we need to set up a new a new working group uh, specifically to to do some research work about open ruler use case. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm I'm quite happy about it, but uh, I, I'm not sure other people's opinion on that. So do we need to create a brand new uh, use case working group or uh, do we need to reuse some exist working group to work on that? I'm not sure. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would like to hear other people's opinion on that. Please. Yeah, and I think I think we probably need um... You know, maybe a discussion with uh, with Matt and Sean and a few others, Elizabeth, um, because historically we've been very careful not to create a lot of new working groups, um, just because what what happens is we we create one because somebody's really excited about something and then and then we don't necessarily do anything with it and then we shut them down. So we've shut down a lot of a lot of working groups. So so there's always a concern. Do does this really need does this really need to be a formal working group? Or is this really a group of people who are working on something together in a less like less formal manner? Like, do we need to, you know, do we need to meet every couple of weeks? Do we need, do we, do we need the structure of a working group? Do we need a, a special repository for it? Or could we have some of the, these discussions in one of the other working groups? Like we can have some of the discussions here. We could possibly. We could possibly do some work in the data science uh, working group as well. So, so what I'm saying is I, I I don't know the answer to that question, and I don't feel like we have the right people on this particular call to make that um, to make that decision. So I think we should uh, maybe just wait until the next. We can talk about it at the at the next meeting, or we could talk about it on on Slack. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I I agree. My my only point is that I, I this, this is more a strategic discussion at the level of chaos, but is uh, so now we have a certain amount of metrics already defined. 
So yeah. I would say most, most part of those metrics will make sense in a complex system discussion, like an operating system. We can, we can take some of those and say, okay, these are applied in this way in a complex system. The problem we have in Kaya so far is that we need to define what a complex system is, operating system or Linux kernel, which is big enough to say this is complex, right? Um, so I, I agree with you, Don, that this is this is a discussion to have. This is just a proposal on my side to say, I would like to see this happen. And from a more strategic perspective in chaos, it's about entering into certain niche market and say, now we are all of this knowledge, which is, I mean, we had the app working group and then we had some others, but the risk, common group, evolution, all of them are generic enough. So then how can we apply all of this knowledge into a specific area, which might be uh, operating systems? Okay, so that's it. Uh, except that just to note, we, we've shut down evolution and risk. Um, because yeah, but didn't... the knowledge is there. Yeah, the knowledge is there for sure. Because it, maybe it doesn't make sense to keep evolving those working groups. So it's just yeah. we have produced certain knowledge and then this is it. And maybe maybe that's the natural way of evolving yeah. working groups in chaos. It's like there is something, we grow, we produce some body of knowledge, we shut down, the knowledge is there. Yeah. And then we are good to go. Yeah, I think I think the concern is it doesn't necessarily need to be a working group. It can be just like a chaos initiative or something, um, because the working groups come with you know a certain amount of governance and things along along with them that yeah. that maybe maybe we don't need. But I like I said, let's let's just way. let's let's hold that discussion until we have the I think the right people on this call to to have that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, just, uh, sorry, uh, Hui, just to mention last thing is uh -huh. I. I wanted to have at the keynote because this is a keynote, an announcement that, that was all. So what, what is what we can announce? That's that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think I think the announcement could be set up. Uh, do you think we set up something like a friendship, mem a friendship uh, member between Chaos and uh, and and Open Rula that uh, we could use Open Rula use case into the Chaos metrics and metrics model. Uh, so we don't have to use some uh, set up a new working group or we adapt uh, those work into the different working group. It's really depend on the way working, but uh, the, the, the detailed or solid working or result could be that uh, uh, we could deploy the metrics and metrics model into the care, into the open ruler community to say how it, how is the result of that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, don't correct me if I'm wrong, but basically there is now a process defined to become a partners or you know uh, partners between open source communities. So this is just the I mean as we are for instance with the to do group in chaos. So this is just a way of defining the process. Um, I yeah, guess. I don't I don't think we actually have that within chaos. Oh, no. I think the chaos project itself has joined other people's. So we've uh, so we're a to do group associate is is that yes. that program, um, but I don't we don't have a process ourselves for bringing other people in to join us mm -hmm. as like a, we don't have like a formal thing for that. Mm -hmm. um, if if Open Euler did, we could certainly we could certainly join theirs. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's a possibility. Mm. Uh, June. Do you think we have uh, such process to welcome new community to join into the Open Ruler community? Because I know that, but but uh, I think we can discuss it a little bit in the next meeting when the other people are here and uh, make some decisions on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only the only catch is that um, the next meeting is December fifth, and when is your keynote? Sixteenth. Yeah, so that's that's really, really close. Hmm. Um, yeah, it would be a little bit late. Yeah. Maybe maybe we kick off this discussion in in Slack 
um, and see if we can get the right people involved in in the in the discussion about where where to go with this. Yeah, I think so. Which, which channel do you think we can bring it up? I think we can do it in the metrics model. Mm -hmm. Black. Okay. Maybe tag um, Sean, Elizabeth, and Matt to make sure that they see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can pop up some ideas to get their opinions on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. So, as, as Plan B, what do you think would be a good, um, you know, slide to have as, uh, you know, trying the relationship between both communities? Um, I think let's start the discussion in the metrics model Slack and then decide, make all of these decisions there. Because um, I know Matt has strong opinions on what should be a Slack channel and what shouldn't. So I'm, I'm reluctant to, to make that decision with without his without his input. Well, and, no, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, uh, so what I'm trying to say is, let's assume this is gonna take longer then what is what we can do with the tools we have right now without yeah. making any decision to say, oh, we would like to see this, we would like to do that. Maybe maybe just announcing or maybe not announcing anything or maybe just announcing, oh, and then we have this report that we have that we are planning to evolve, but this is the first version and maybe that's good enough. So I'm, I'm thinking on, on those terms. Yeah, I mean, I think we could definitely announce the, the report. I think that would be that would be a, mm -hmm. good, a good start. And then let's have that discussion in the metrics model working group Slack channel about what, what else we can do and what, what, how it's, so it's not, I'm not, I'm not saying we need to decide whether we do this. I'm just trying to think about getting the right people involved in how we do this, whether it's a work group or an initiative or whether it's, whether we do it in Slack, or whether we do it somewhere else. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this will do the work. It's just a matter of figuring out the best place to do it. Yes. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Um. Okay. Then shall I go to the document, the report itself? Sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Let me share my screen again. Okay. So, uh, really quick. On the left, uh, you see the you see the outline. The outline is based on two main areas, which is uh, this first part here on the analysis of health in super complex systems, da, 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 and then insight report by chaos. Um, um, okay, so the the first version we had of everything, just to contextualize this, was this part here, so the insight report by chaos on the OpenEvler community. And then uh, we have OpenEvler basic intro, community governance, release of the community, uh, the interest groups, operations, responsibilities and roles, repositories and basic statistics, and then the analysis itself. Um, so this was all produced by Yehui. Um, he was sharing his thoughts and his ideas and, and so on and so forth. Um, then uh, we were discussing like two weeks ago or four weeks ago on uh, that um, what if we try to have a more um, like the business case, why why we are doing this, more than entering into uh, really a lot of details, mainly because we have like uh, uh, numbers that are on the surface, and then because you know we still need to learn a lot on the what a complex system is, right, from operating systems, and then what that means in terms of health or or so. So then I I, I had as an action item after that meeting to produce something perhaps closer to uh, my thinking then. So then this is why uh, we have this first version here, which is a reduced version, what we have before. And then this is this is based on 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 four, three, four main areas, which is A. Um, so this is this is this is why we are doing this. This is a joint effort. So then we are mentioning open order, we are mentioning chaos. Uh, this is um, this is uh, what chaos is for. This is open Euler, what it's for, and then this is why we want to run this analysis because we think this is a uh, you know a great place of analysis and move forward with 
understanding, knowledge for both both communities, basically. Um, so then this is a um, kind of a, yeah, intro to show the complexity of Open Euler from different areas, technical and, and governance. Um, so then we have we have specific areas here at XF, XFC, uh, Genome, Linux kernel. So there are you know pieces of software that are recognizable in the general industry. And then it's about uh, mentioning the con the concept of ecosystem that I, we've used in chaos, but um, um, well we've used in chaos and, and this is it. And then this is what uh, saying okay, Open Euler basically should be uh, considered as an ecosystem because all of these different pieces. And then it's about having these first insights. So instead of having all these analysis or community basic statistics is saying, okay, this is what we can produce today. Because this is what we know. These are the tools we have. We are using data coming from the community. We are using data coming from OSS Compass. These are the two, three highlights that we would like to share as chaos and say, okay, this is this, the trends, the evolution, the community seems to be a live community, healthy system, you know? Uh, so this is why we have these <laughs> three squares here. Um, some methodological notes in case someone is interested in, and then next steps, which is again, <coughs> same discussion, creation, da, da, da. This is what we would like to do together. Done, end of the discussion. So this is, this is it. Comments, thoughts. So the question, okay, let, let me ask a different question to start with because I, I don't see you now. Uh, well, let me stop sharing. Uh, if I'm able to stop sharing. Okay, here. Um, so my question would be, do we want to produce an insights report as we had in the past in chaos? We want to produce a higher level document, more business oriented, like, hey, chaos is the great place and the place to discuss all of this. So then we can attract other communities maybe or um, we want something in between, or you have another idea of what we should be doing? My my opinion is we probably need something in between because I think okay. there, there are enough resources out there that are sort of just like, you know, chaos, chaos is great. This is where you can, um, you know, do these sorts of things. I feel like, I feel like we have a lot of that. What we don't have are, you know, kind of feel like case studies like this, where, where we dive into something. And so people can actually see how the chaos metrics are used and how we've interpreted them and how, how we're using them to help the open oiler community. So I think, I think we kind of need both. Like we still do need some of the, this is why we're doing this within chaos and why it's important mm. um, to have the chaos project involved. Um, but I think the more that we can actually show that is is real insight into the open oiler community um, with an eye towards, you know, here are maybe some some things you can improve or this is what it looks like. These are some strong points. These are some areas of improvement. I don't know, something like that, I think will help people really see how they could use the chaos metrics to do something similar within, within their communities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, yes. My question would be then, do we have time or all the metrics needed to make this possible? That's why I thought we don't have all the knowledge we need to produce that. So we need to start earlier, basically, in the process and then go into Yeah. It. I mean, we're not going to have everything. I think that's, um, but I don't know. My, my focus with metrics is all, is, is never let, let's do all of it and see, see mm -hmm. what we have. It's let's pick a few things that will give us some, something useful, something that the community can use. So, I mean, I, I agree. We can't, we can't really do a full report. But I think we could do enough of a report that it gives the open oiler community something something useful and interesting and learn something about the community that they didn't know before. Um, which is why I think it's kind of, you know, kind of halfway in between the the two things that you described. I think Daniel already pointed the the uh, the potential part uh, on the topic. I mean on the on the uh, title that first steps 
that uh, we don't have to do it in one time for to cover all, all of thing. I mean, the how to use matrix model, I mean, the all the metrics and metrics model into one report. I think in the in our first steps or first version of this inside report could, could only cover the, the general overview uh, of the open ruler community based on the chaos metrics and metrics models. And uh, I'm really happy to, to say the, actually the first uh, section about the, uh, uh, executive summary and the key findings. We can give the some key findings here as our first steps, mm -hmm. and uh, to introduce people have interest on the okay, what kind of uh, interesting points have been found based on the metrics model and the metrics, mm -hmm. and uh, using these key findings to let people know how to use chaos metrics and metrics model to to help a community to to covering their their health. And uh, we can deep inside into the open rulers community to say, okay, how to marry that based on the metrics and give them some, some, some points. And mm -hmm. also I really like the ecosystem, open ruler ecosystem, this part. I think uh, uh, to talking about the complexity open source project, it's a really good uh, keyword to, to describe this kind of software. And we made to focus on this point to say about the diversity part and uh, and to say the, uh, I don't know, um, maybe activity or six, six activities to, uh, because we already got, have such data. And as, as Dawn mentioned, and, and Daniel also mentioned that we don't have enough data so far uh, uh, in such short time, but uh, we do have some values and data to, to prove that. Mm -hmm. Mm, so, but the question I have is, do we have enough time? So, specifically in the case of, of the uh, metrics models and OSS Compass, do we have a... Do we have already data that we can use uh, from some of the metrics <coughs> models as collaboration development index or community service and support, some of those? Because then if we have some, then we can, then we can produce uh, a showcase. Yep. We actually have all those data. Uh, so uh, maybe I, I think today we can we can give them the general structure about whole report, and uh, in the in the later day of this week, I can provide some data on on that to prove our findings, so, uh, mm -hmm. something like that. And uh, I think uh, so, uh, <laughs> I'd like to hear your opinion about the whole structure. Hi, um, hi, yeah. Yami. Yeah. Hi, 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 Daniel. Hi. Thank you for the, for the document. I have a, a suggestion. I'm looking at this document. And, uh, I'm thinking maybe we can add a section explaining the methodology or simply the steps of applying chaos metrics when analyzing a software complex system. And uh, open data is a case case study, if I understand it correctly. So is that possible uh, to add a section that explains how to, uh, how to uh, use the chaos metrics when analyzing the system? So, so, so what do you mean uh, that uh, you first introduced the chaos method methodology that uh, how to use chaos metrics to, to to measure uh, open rulers and yeah uh, yeah okay yes so introduce how the chaos metrics are used when analyzing the open ruler community before the results are presented in the document mm -hmm. so then would we like adding a Rationale. So, for instance, if we go for, um, if, let me share my screen so then we all see the same, uh, same thing. Sorry. Um, so, if we think about this, for instance, we are we are talking here about a certain metrics models. Um, so, if we go for these four, 
we can either focus on one of them or two or three or four, whatever it is, and then so numbers and then and say, okay, why are uh so what what is first a metrics model and uh, in chaos and then why they are useful and then how to look at open order uh, through the prism let's say the glasses of of the metrics models and then what are our lessons learned let's say using the hat of chaos and then what would be a either highlight or advice or things like this is, is that does it make sense uh Yes, yes, I think that makes sense. Maybe we could be more specific. For example, when using chaos metrics in analyzing a system, we could start with, for example, collaboration development index, uh, community service and support, organization activity, and uh, community activity. Saying that we can use four, uh, four metrics models, which as a start point when analyzing a community. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we also have a, pro, a start project chaos metrics model that already support in chaos. And we can also use that metrics model to do so. And uh, I know that uh, uh, Gary has just uh, introduced some uh, metrics about uh, variability, or I, I'm not quite remember the name, the keywords of that group of matrix model, but uh, it looks like those matrix model is really care about uh, the open source governance. But um, I think we can also consider about this part. Um, but as we know that, um, um, we, are kind of, we are kind of short time uh, about the whole things to give the complete uh, uh, or, or perfect version of mm -hmm. inside report in such short time. So maybe we can just give some keywords we want to introduce in this report. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, Yes, I mean, uh, what I mean is uh, uh, add some brief descriptions on how how the metrics models are used in this document to analyze the open era community. It's, I, I think it's not necessary to introduce all the metric models in chaos. Yeah, I think, Lang, let me just see if I can um maybe maybe summarize what what you're asking for i think i think what he's asking for is to to better describe the approach that we used and you know maybe like why did we pick these metrics models why are these giving going to give us some insight about the open oiler project so we've got we've got kind of the details so you know the like we can do the analysis and we have we have some details about the methodological notes earlier but that's that's very much more about the type of thing that we're analyzing. So I think I think Liang's right. I think that there's a bit of a gap um, where we should maybe better describe the the approach and why why we picked these models and how um, how we're using them. Liang, is that a good summary of what you were asking for, or did I miss that? Perfect summary. Thank you, Don. Okay. Thanks. Um, do we want to? work now on an outline so we, i don't know if we have enough time but if not we can do it in slack what do you think i think maybe add that section somewhere we can move it we can move it later but just so we don't we don't forget maybe it's maybe it's somewhere near the methodological notes here so then we can say uh okay uh let me add like um yeah um, metrics models um, approach. Did that work? Yeah, I'll drop. I'll drop some notes in the document. Okay. Approach or methodology. Mm -hmm. um, let's 
Don, I have a question. Should we move this section at the very beginning or we, we should put, put it here? Because this is to introduce how we do the, uh, how we get the, the final inside report or, or, or the summary of the whole things. Um. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't I don't know where this section goes yet. I think maybe if we if we kind of write up what we were what we were thinking in a little more detail, I think it'll be easier to figure out where it where it goes. I suspect some of this other stuff will get rearranged anyways as we incorporate more of the the detailed analysis that you've been mm -hmm. working on. Sure. Uh so I think uh, because we are short of time in this meeting, but uh, I think we can discuss a, li a little bit more continuously after after the meeting through the strike. And uh, in the later of this week, uh, I would be working together with Daniel and Dawn and the other people uh, on these documentations to, to continue this di discussion through the strike. I think we can make it, made it um, some achievement uh, before the meeting before the next meeting, I think, because in the next meeting, it's very close to the summit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Mm. But I know that Daniel, you will visit uh, Summer Palace together with the uh, with, uh, uh, Alien Jiang uh, um, uh, in China, being with China, it's a really good place. Okay. <laughs> and uh, if we have uh, some free time on Thursday, I'd, I'd like to bring you around the, uh, oh. in Beijing city. We can we'll go around the whole city. city. Yeah. Thank you. You're gonna have fun. I'm jealous. <laughs> next time, Don. Next time. <laughs> next time. After China, <laughs> big photo. We show them. Yeah. yeah. We, we just have to find a better time of the year than over my Christmas holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think well, this is great. I feel like I feel like you all have made a lot of a lot of progress. I think. Like you said, I think we need to work on this a bit offline in the next couple of weeks, and maybe. Maybe what we try to bring back to this meeting in two weeks is like a near final draft of the presentation. So with Sean's feedback, with the data from, um, you know, from the data that Yahui has, and you know the executive summary written things, things like that, like have it in a better, nearly complete state. I think, um, I think so. would, be, would be useful in the next meeting. That way, we could provide any final feedback. Yeah, yeah. My my goal with the keynote in reality is, was basically the slides was basically to replicate and somehow, but mm -hmm. we had the Euler, uh, you know, the complexity, chaos kind of things we are producing, and um, because we didn't have much data, I thought about bringing the Linux kernel, which is something that is already like a bit earlier we had this analyzed already. So I thought, that, yeah, I, I know. I think we I think we need to look at the data that Yahoo has. Um, yeah. Yeah, I will provide uh, okay, to, because Linux. I think that might be I think that might be more interesting than the, the Linux kernel stuff because that's a component of it, but mm, it'd yeah. be nicer to focus on the stuff that the, that Open Euler is focused on. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, the, uh, well, yes and no because the the goal of so it's about what is. And that's something probably you can discuss about the keynote, but this is what we are trying to achieve here in terms of lessons learned for the audience. And we have three minutes for discussing, but it's uh, we can we can leave it for, for the Slack. But my my idea was to say, um, okay, we are we are we are saying this is an operating system, this is a complex system. Let's take one just one piece of the whole uh you know photo 
and, and look at a you know I was thinking about creating a network analysis for the last two or three months kind of and then just for a subset of the ecosystem and say Poof, all of this yeah. just the Linux kernel so you, you could imagine the rest of the open Euler ecosystem so was more yeah I think we seem to be careful because the keynote is so short that we need to be careful that we have enough time to focus on the the things that open open Euler actually builds as opposed to the stuff that's built outside of the community mm -hmm. It's not, it's not that we can't talk about the Linux kernel as a piece of it. We just need to be really careful about how much time we spend on it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah, is still, again, true. the proposal. I mean, the document and the slides is just a proposal in progress. So let's, let's keep evolving. Sounds good. OK. More topics? Anything else we need to discuss in our remaining two minutes for the metrics model meeting? Okay. Well, thanks everybody. I feel like I feel like we've at least made made some progress and have some next steps. I think we're yep. getting there. Bye. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.